Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the blower housing shield in your LG dryer, you will need a Phillips screwdriver or drill driver with a Phillips bit. Before you attempt this, be sure to turn off the power to the appliance. Pull the dryer away from the wall. Unthread the five screws to remove the bracket. Slide the lid and lift it off to remove from the dryer. Unthread the two screws holding the control panel. Pry the three tabs, then pull back and lift up to free the control panel. Unplug the wire harness from the display PCB assembly. Unplug the door switch. Unthread the two screws on the lower half of the panel. Unthread the three screws on the top half of the dryer panel. Be sure to support the panel while unthreading the three screws that secure the top of the dryer panel. Now lift and remove the front panel. Unthread the three screws securing the filter cover and remove it. Unthread the two screws on the duct assembly to remove. Unthread the two screws on the blower shield. To install the new blower housing shield, set the shield in place and re-thread the two screws to secure it to the housing. Set the assembly in the appliance and re-thread the two screws to secure. Next, align and slide the assembly into place within the dryer. Rethread the three screws to secure.
Insert the panel in the two slots at the bottom of the appliance. Now re-thread the three screws on the top half of the panel. Rethread the two screws on the bottom half of the panel. Plug in the door switch. Plug the wire harness back into the PCB assembly. Insert the control panel into its grooves and push forward to snap in place. Then rethread the two screws that hold it in place. Place the lid on the dryer and push forward to secure. Rethread the five screws to reinstall the bracket. Next, align and slide the filter assembly into place within the dryer. Rethread the three screws to secure. Push the dryer back into place. Turn the power supply back on and your dryer should be ready for use.